Well, I think we agree. Hey, what's up, everybody? Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. <laughs> Looks like they poured I... straight into the old service tunnels. I'm AJ Gills, this is the Elon with our gaming channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Uh, we're playing uh, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Ooh, rat. Hey, over here. It's locked. Not for long. Should be able to squeeze through here. I think. Lead on, Macduff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lead on, Macduff. Lay on. It's lay on, Macduff. <sighs> Can we hurry it along, please, mate? All right, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just, just not keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. Uh, just keep moving. I, that's such a weird character flaw. Well, I won't mean, say flaw, but like characteristic that they like. What the hell is Macduff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? <laughs> like they didn't have to do that, but I don't know. It's interesting if you ask me. Now here. Oh yeah, nice one, mate. Thanks. Double headshot. Oh shit. <laughs> Climb the freaking ladder. Okay. Tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If I had to grab onto those pipes. Oh. That is a long way down. Careful, it's slippery. Have you forgotten how to shoot? What the hell is wrong with you? Quit screwing around. I, I, I honestly, I don't know why I couldn't hit him. And a ladder. Yeah. Looks like it's jammed, though. Look out! Here it comes. Like there's some sort of gate up there. I'll say it once again. Nate looks damn good in that suit. Too bad now it's covered in toilet water and blood. Or fake blood, I guess. So I feel like the platforming, uh... Sure, I gotcha. The, uh, the platforming really tightened up in this one. Alright, ready? Pull. Got it! Okay, Charlie, come on. Yeah. 
There's the tunnel again. It's too far to drop, though. We'll break our damn necks. Crap, it's a dead end. Down here. Where the hell are we headed now? What in the world? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate, but whoever they are, they are seriously weird. Look at the ironwork. Well, it's got to be Victorian, maybe older. Yeah. All this stuff's been rusting for a century. You know, I love how you wouldn't expect, uh... Maybe we can get through here. No way we're moving there. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh. Hey, wait. It's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. Right, one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> ah, crap. I really like Charlie. Uh, if you didn't know the the, uh, the the English guy. Although I think that. Uh, I also think I can't ever tell if they're if he's Charlie or Cutter. I think it's Charlie Cutter or something like that. Um, I, I I really like Cutter. Uh, you know he's a I don't know, he's a really interesting guy. Uh, really funny. I think you know he comes across as kind of like a bit like the muscle, but you know like uh, he's actually like a lot smarter than that. You know, I, it's like when he's calling out the like the iron work and all that. You know, he's uh, actually you know intelligent. That ought to work. Got it? Yep, yep. Take your time. Alright. What the hell is this place? Shit, get down! <laughs> Good eye. Thanks for having our back. There's Marlowe's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. Hands up. Oh, I don't know. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. Hey, hey, you got us all wrong, man. We're from Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> from Cleveland? Oh, well done, mate. That a boy. Really, you high five each other, but you don't high five the guy who just the took that dude out? What is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. Really, with this group, you... weirds the normal. Get back. Wait. Take them yeah, out. Yeah, close enough. Quietly. I mean, we're using... We're done, boys. Our guns have silencers. Come on. Like... They must have gone through here. That's why I don't understand it's taking weird. quietly. I mean, it's... this stonework looks like Tudor, 16th century. If 
I saw the treasure. No, 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 not through the door. They're probably still in there. Good point. Up this way. Quietly, Nate. Hey, over here. No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. Four hundred years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. Women in jewelry. I'll never understand it. You know, oddly enough, I think that might be one of the most blatantly sexist things I've ever said on this channel. This is quite the operation they got going here. Look at all this stuff. Ugh. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. Belonged to T. E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, 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 so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Here we go. L O H D N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. No shit long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Just shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find.
What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Or maybe a painting? Well, what makes you think it's even here? It's gotta be here. Oh, it could be a Buckland Abbey, for all we know. What? Buckland Abbey, it's a place you've never been there. Move on. Well, there's a chair there made from the wood of his ship. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but... No. No, it's gotta be here. <laughs> oh, weird shit in here, not gonna lie. This place is amazing. The things in here must be worth a fortune. Nate, we can't be screwing around like this. They'll be back any minute. Yeah, come on, mate, hurry up. Well, we saw those things over there. Yeah, come on. I know exactly what we're looking for. I just don't can't remember where it is exactly. <laughs> do, 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 do. I can't climb. Yes, I know exactly what I'm looking for. Don't stop telling me to check the journal. Take cover! that Nate was right about that when he was a kid. I'm out of bullets. We're running out of ammo. Grab their weapons. Oh, I love that shit. I love that, just that uppercut, and then he just... <laughs> I forgot they do that in this game. It's all, it, may, it just, it makes it so much more just like... Dumb action movie. Oh, drop kick. People say pro wrestling sucks. Shit, they're everywhere. See, they they, they fixed one of my biggest problems with the earlier games. The fact that you now guns actually sound like guns. You also can't let it's like... They actually... Like, firing this pistol actually, like, feels like shooting a real pistol. You know, it... As you can't just, like, shoot, like... As... You, you can't just, like, rapid fire like you could with the other ones. Let me rephrase that. You couldn't just you, you couldn't just like rapid fire. You couldn't just like rapid fire with the pistols like you could uh, in the previous games. Let me all see that guy just turn his gun sideways. Just steals his 
gun. Okay, I, I I'm I'm I was watching I, I was watching a YouTuber play a uh, game. Uh, a guy by the name Danku8000. Uh, if you haven't, go check out his channel. He's actually uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good. What he does, he's pretty funny. I like him. Um, he, what was I watching? What was I watching him play? Uh, I think I was watching I was watching him play Manhunt. Um, and he kept saying it's saw, and you know, like like you'd find find the shotgun. You know, it's he he kept saying it was sawn off, like with an N, not sawed off. Come on. So set an argument because I always thought it was sawed off, like E D. Okay. Not gonna lie, this is much easier than the difficulty I first played this on. Oh, because when I first I first played this game on, uh, I don't think it was on Brutal. I think it was on the one. Uh, it wasn't on Brutal, but it was on the one uh, right above that. Can you read me? I also respect these games. No time to explain. Because you get the uh, like they don't they, they don't do that assholeish thing that I think some games that some games will do, where they won't they won't give you credit. Uh, you know you won't get the trophy or the achievement for beating a game on the lower diff on you know say you start immediately on the hardest difficulty that a game has. And then you beat it on that difficulty. Then you you they don't give you the achievement for also beating it on, you know, like easy and medium. This game does. Up here, hurry! I respect. You know, I, I I respect that. You know, it's it, it, it rewards you for taking on a harder difficulty. She has that that design on it. It's really fucking cool. Go, go! So then the guy says, "Well, you better tickle mine too, because now I gotta catch the goddamn thing." <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job. Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah. He was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. And that 
really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel-Kali Desert. Right here. Well, <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait, if Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Ruble Kali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian it's script. script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years bump. ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that music, that's great. End of the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. See, I love how Sully asked the same question I'm Too thinking. Far. It's like, why is there a jungle in the middle of fucking France? It means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was fifteen, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> this has been a lot of fun, but yeah, this is gonna be where we're gonna stop this video. Uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, my website down in the description below. Always feel free to leave me a comment. Always happy to hear from you guys. Uh, other than that, uh, like, uh, like, and subscribe if you're enjoying the videos and want to uh, help support the channel. Uh, also, tell your friends, and that uh, that also helps. Um, yeah, that's about all. I, like I said, that's all I got for you this time. Uh, so tune in next time. We'll uh, we'll keep going here in France. Uh, so guys, uh, until next time, I'm AJ Gels, this is the 11th Hour Gaming Channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out.